And so if you got coaches listening to this, if you have a lesser talented team, then, then you better be able to do three things. If you can't do these three things and you're the lesser talented team, um, you will be really hard pressed to succeed. One, you better play harder than your opponent. Like, so, so you're instilling that aspect. If you instill that with the mindset that you have to go play one of the best teams in your league to win the league, and you're building with that in mind, because there's going to be teams in your league. I just saw in the greater thumb, right? I think Vassar was Owen, whatever in the league, like you, you don't have to have, you don't have to play harder to beat that team that year, but, but you're going to have to, if you wanted to go, I think it was a girls, Reese girls had a great year, right? So yeah, if you want to go beat the Reese girls, you, and you're lesser talented, you better play harder too. I'm a firm believer of this. You better teach your kids how to play tougher. Like you, and, and this is for sure a Gary Waters mentality. Part of being a great defensive minded team is you better be the tougher team because you have to come up with the 50, 50 ball. You have to win the battle rebounding. You have to do the tough gritty stuff that are intangibles that help you win a game. And then third, then your philosophy comes into play. However, your, whatever your, whatever your philosophy is that gets your, 10 or 12 to play more together in your philosophy, more united than your opponent, then you have a chance, right? But if you don't, you're going to play and it's the vice versa. If you're, if you're, if you're more talented than your opponent, you don't have to do those things. Just more talented. The only thing that kind of offsets that a little bit today, why,